Hey everyone, welcome back to 10 Sinker Time. Today um, we're going back to this embroidery project I showed before. Um, we did the seed stitch down here before and today we're going to do some French knots and I'll show you how I do that. So this is, I've not done a lot on it and I've been gone for a few days. So we have, we're had a family vacation. So we were gone for a little bit over, well I was off for a little bit over a week. So I haven't got a lot of it done. I did do some of the lighter purple and this up here since the last time you guys saw it, but not a lot. Um, we're going to be doing some French knotting over in this area today. There's a few spots there I'm going to show you, which this here is also French knots. And then we did this darker purple, the seed stitch the last time. So for this one, we are doing the color is the light blue purple and on the pattern it's this number seven here is what we're going to be working on and we've got two strands that are needed for this and again you know this comes in six so we're going to separate it this time last time for the seed stitch we used all six so this one we only need the two strands so you can kind of see how it separates there I'm just going to pull two of them off and separate it from the rest. And I usually kind of split the ends a little bit and take my finger and just kind of unravel it as you go because it does get kind of twisted up. Do it a few times if you need to. Okay, got those separated. And I like to leave the rest of this together so I know... Like there's four because I might not use just two for all of this. So I just leave the rest of it together so nothing gets lost or misplaced. So this will do the same way. So the end with the French knotting, I think it's easier to, to actually just tie a knot in the end to get your thread started. Some of the other like the satin stitch or even the seed stitch is easy to do that without knotting the actual end of your thread for the back, but for the French knot, that works best. So I do put a knot in the end. And then just thread my needle here, same way as before. Just a little bit of that showing, just a little bit of that thread showing and you can slip your needle right over it. So we've got our needle threaded, our two strands. We know we're working on this area down here. So I'll show you. And these are similar to the seed stitch. It's not an exact pattern that you need one here and one there. And um, it's not like that, it's kind of random. Oh, my knot wasn't big enough. We'll do one more. There we go. So I'll show you this again. So I'm just going to go up wherever. Up right here. So this is where I might need to zoom you guys in a little bit. All right, so this is the part that is crucial when you're doing this stitch. So you can see my thread pulled out this way. And I like to hold with my finger here and my thumb and just kind of hold this. You want it tight, but not super tight. And you're gonna take your needle and just kind of, you know, hold this out the rest of the way. And you're gonna wrap it. So that's one wrap and that's two wrap. So, you're gonna take your needle and just wrap one, two around, and then you put this back in the hole it came out of. You can get it close, it doesn't have to be the exact same hole, and then you just kind of pull it through. We'll do 
too. You can see that one tiny one here. So I'm going to show you that again. So you want these close together, but it doesn't have to be exact. Got the little tail coming through here. So one, two, and down in close to where you pulled it out from. And you kind of want to hold this side, you know, hold this thread a little bit tight and then you can kind of let go whenever. Um, the tighter that is, the tighter your little knot is going to be. So you can see these two we've done here. So again, just going to find the place that I want to come up. So I'm just going to keep doing these knots here. These are one of my favorites. I love stitching French knots. And I think it's because it's not so particular. So see how I'm going to switch that around and it's where I'm working on my fabric. I usually just, how the easiest way to hold mine is usually how I'll hold it to do my knots. All right, so I finished up the French knots down here and just this little section right here. So I'll show you that. So just these few down here and right here. So you see what that French knot looks like? One of my favorites, of course. I love doing the French knots. So that was it for today, guys. Just showing you that different type of um, stitch on the project that I'm working on. So there's a few other areas that are the same color that are also, you know, all the French knotting. So I'll be doing maybe some more of that. A lot of this pattern is this French knot. So I'll probably get a lot of the French knot part done and then come back and show you some more of these straight stitches. So it might be a little while before you see this, but I have some other fun stuff in mind to do. I think maybe another planter. We made a planter in one of the videos. It was with the little cardinal and I have some more stuff to do another type of planter, but different material this time, but still sort of like upcycling and reusing something that you might not normally. So we'll probably be doing that soon and we'll come back to this when I've gotten a lot of the French knotting done and we'll show you some of the straight stitch, what that back stitch looks like. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.